Hey everyone, it's at Earth Collectors here. We're opening up 2022 opening day baseball from Tops. And yes, the baseball season is going to open up very soon in April. Can't wait for the season to start. So glad that they uh, fixed all the problems they had between ownership and players. And a lot of good things coming up in the next year or two for baseball, it sounds like. All right, so these boxes are now $20 versus $9 from a year ago or $10 from a year ago, but you get a ton more packs. You get 20 packs and two extra packs, 22 packs. Um, I'm going to let you see inside here, see how many packs you actually do get. Look at all the packs, tons of packs. Um, here are the odds um, on the side here. You can see. So very hard to pull things out of opening day other than the um, blue parallels. The blue foils are um, about one per box, it looks like. Um, and uh, at least if I'm reading that right, base card parallels opening day edition one of 19. Um, so there's also autographs in this set, uh, relic cards. Um, there's all kinds of things. Wander Franco, of course, is in the set. Uh, there is a lot. There are a lot of packs, I should say, in here. Um, and let's get a look at the pack art. Uh, once again, here's your odds on there. And you can pause that if you like to see it. But this uh, was $20 at Walmart. The Meyer BIOS was $25. Um, so, you know, opening day, always kind of a, um, a low-end product. Uh, usually the card stock's even flimsier than Series 1. And then the thing that sets it apart, if you don't know already, it's that opening day logo right there. Um, so here is what one of the inserts is. Uh, this is opening day uh, insert. I don't know exactly what that one is called. Opening day insert? I have no idea. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we've opened this up in the in years past. Uh, the hobby boxes, I think, on tops were going for 40 bucks, but they're not really hobby boxes per se. You don't get a guaranteed hit in them. Um, there's a Randy at Rosarina. Uh, and generally speaking, this is one of the favorite parts of the set for me are the mascot cards that you don't get out of the other uh, products like Series 1. Uh, so that is really fun. I remember one year they had these concession cards that they took all the favorite concessions um, that they had from various stadiums and put those on cards. So different kinds of hot dogs, uh, pizzas, cheeseburgers, and so forth. Bomb Squad insert this year. Pretty cool. Uh, Javier Baez now on the uh, Tigers. We'll see what other free agents get signed. Uh, but opening day is always a fun rip. It's a good one for kids. If you got little kids around um, or grandkids, uh, nieces, nephews, this is a fun one to get. You know, for 20 bucks, 20 packs, you know, you divide up the packs. Everybody gets to open a bunch of packs. And there are potential to pull some big cards out of here. It's just very difficult. And the kids always love the mascot card. So TC Bear. Uh, another mascot. Uh, it actually can be kind of difficult to put together the uh, set of mascots if you just open up packs and boxes. Uh, anyways, you can obviously buy them on eBay, but it is fun to, you know, if you're trying to make a set like this one uh, to do by buying a few blaster boxes with all the 20 packs, as long as they don't have doubles in all of them. Uh, or in, in a whole bunch, or I should say a whole bunch of doubles in the blaster boxes, then, you know, you can uh, probably build a set fairly quickly. I'm not sure how many cards are in the set. I don't know if it's a 200 card set. I think it usually is, but don't quote me on that. Let's look here. No, it's got to be over 200 because obviously 213. So um, over 200, maybe a 300 card set. But let me know in the comments below how big the set is this year. Another opening day insert, uh, Eric Hosmer, Yada Yer Molina, and Raphael Devers. The photographs are going to be a little different than Series 1 as well. Uh, some in the past have been the same and others have been uh, different. So if I can open up these packs. Uh, Luke is actually doing a card show today. So he's down in Grand Rapids. He'll have some footage uh, for you coming up soon there and here is one of the inserts a little perforated or perforated edges there um, so you can you know fold those over and make little mini cards i guess i don't know somebody i thought said they were stickers i don't think they're stickers but 
Um, I didn't read anything about them being stickers. They, they could be. Let me know in the comments below. Are those stickers or are they just little perforated edge cards that you can fold over and make into little minis like a Alan Ginter mini? All right, here's Slider mascot. And Jonathan India. That's a pretty cool looking um, photograph of Jonathan India. And Alec Baum. Yeah, they have the dugout peaks, I think they're called. Uh, those are cool. They have um, autographs of, um, of the players on some of these. And they also have um, relics of the mascots, too. So a lot of uh, neat stuff you can get out of the set. But it, once again, very hard to pull. So let's talk baseball for a few minutes. Uh, you know, the owners and players came together. Um, and it looks like, uh, for the good, looks like the um, base salary went up like $200,000, which is good for those young players uh, to stay, um, you know, uh, in the league and be able to uh, pay their bills. I know it sounds like crazy to say 500000 is enough, but I'm sure they have a lot of different expenses than what we could imagine. But here is one of the blue foils, Salvador Perez. And I believe uh, from the checklist I read, it said these are numbered, or they made 2,222 of them. So just like a gold card. Um, and there is the Pirates, uh, or Pirate Parrot, and we saw him at the Pirate Stadium when we went out there a couple years ago. That stadium is beautiful. If you haven't got a chance to go to the Pittsburgh Stadium and you're in the area, check that out. I believe the same year we also went to the Cleveland Stadium. That's also a nice stadium. Last year we went to the uh, Tiger Stadium for the first time, the brand new Tiger Stadium, and that was a nice stadium too. So fun to see some of these uh, stadiums when you get a chance. And uh, maybe this year more so than the last two years due to the lack of COVID restrictions that are out there now. Freddie Freeman, they're saying he'll either sign with the Dodgers or with the Braves. Hopefully back with the Braves. I mean, Dodgers, they're just so loaded. Uh, they also did some salary cap type uh, things where they made sure that the teams would get penalized if they went over. I can't remember what the... Th oh, there he is right there. Wander Franco. So that is the exact same photograph uh, that they have in Series 1. Like I said, they're not all different. Um, and that Wander Franco is definitely not any different. But we did pull a Wander. I don't know how hard those are to pull out of here. Future Stars, Logan Gilbert, and... Um, what was I saying here? Oh, yeah. So the salary cap issue, uh, they are working on that. So teams that have high budgets can't overspend without being penalized. Uh, also, they're going to do something with the draft. They're going to have um, the uh, teams not be allowed to tank as easily, uh, be penalized for that. And they're going to have more like a NBA-style lottery draft. Uh, so that could be a little bit interesting. Um, also, they're going to have widened, or not widened, but bigger bases in 2023, I heard. Also, a pitch clock. And there's one other thing. Oh, yeah, the shift. Um, new shift rules. But that's not till 2023. It's not this year. That's 2023. So stay tuned for those and all the free agent signings that will happen, all the new rules coming into play in 2023. And... All the free agent signings, it should be a busy time with baseball in the next couple days because spring training, I think, opens up already. I think it had opened up on the 11th, which um, was, is, is that today? Today, I think. No, that was that was yesterday, Friday. Um, I'm making the video on Saturday. Um, was able to get these at a restock um, that we were able to get on Friday. So they put out some cards on Friday at Walmart and at our Meyer, check out our re retail restock video coming up as well. We'll have that out hopefully tomorrow. Um, and we'll be opening up some other products that we found at the restock. Billy the Marlin. Uh, but also baseball coming out for Tops is a Heritage came out this week on Friday. And we do have a hobby box of that coming. Also one for our random pack videos. So... We'll be doing that hobby box. I know that's not the most exciting uh, product for a lot of people, but it is a lot of fun. And this year, chasing Wander Franco 
um, talked to shop owner Chase the dugout and he said the product was selling really well I don't doubt it people are hungry for cards now especially knowing baseball is going to be on there is Screech the Eagle for the Nationals I know I'm really highlighting all the um, mascot cards sorry one of my favorite parts about this set not going to be buying much of this at all not going to be buying a hobby box going to save money up for things like heritage or even more series one did see series one on the shelf again this week they've been really trickling the stuff out so uh, it's kind of strange you thought i would think with all that they made that boy it would be a lot easier to find um, but no it's actually been a little difficult to find on retail shelves you can buy it on target three boxes is the limit um, and yet it takes a long time to get to uh, your house, uh, it seems. Uh, here's another call your shot and another opening day parallel. Um, Xander Bogarts had a huge year last year. Great player for the Red Sox. Last pack, I'm guessing there's nothing in this. If I missed something that you saw, let me know. I assume it would be flipped around because that's how they've been doing it. And to me, all the cards look pretty standard issue. There are variations, player variations, but I would imagine those are flipped around because I don't know how you'd be able to tell otherwise unless you knew the product really well. So there's another one of those perforated edge cards. And Carlos Correa, last but not least, the diving Byron Buxton card. The guy is an amazing fielder. Um, he is on a lot of highlight reels. Reminds me of back in the day when the Red Sox had Jackie Bradley Jr., and he was also an amazing fielder. Mookie Betts was too. Andrew Benintendi, they had a great outfield back then. Um, but anyways, I digress. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of opening day 2022. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and stay tuned for more baseball breaks. We'll be posting them in the near future. Hopefully you're doing well and getting excited for the baseball season to start. Comment below. Let me know uh, what you're looking most forward to with the new baseball season starting and what rule changes you like the best that are coming up in 2023. All right, take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.